Okay, so today we're going to be taking a look at Nexi. Now, Nexi, the library for converting your Node application into an executable. So we have already taken a look at a package like this before, and I'll include the video link down below. But this is just a different library for doing it, and maybe this one suits you better. But if you haven't seen that video, it doesn't matter. This video is not going to build on top of that one, so you can just go ahead and watch this one. The first thing you want to do is, of course, have Node and NPM installed, but I would already assume that. And then you have to go ahead and run this command which will install Nexi globally. Now once you've gone ahead and done that then you can go ahead and compile your app and you do this by just doing Nexi and then the file name of your application. Now the application we are going to be using today is this application very simple express server and it then has this file here which is a hello world.html file that will be hosted by the express server. Then it has this configuration file which is empty and that's pretty much the application. So let's go ahead and compile this. Now, if you don't specify your operating system, it will just default to the one you're on. So for me, it's going to be Windows, but I will show you later how to customize that. But once you have compiled, you can see that we have this server.exe and we can go ahead and run this by doing. And then we can go ahead and press run. And then we have to say yes, that this can run. So if we go ahead and navigate to localhost and refresh, you can see that our hello world server works. But one problem with this is that if you either remove the exe from this folder here, or you go ahead and change some of the files, this application will break. So let's try to just rename this and just put dash two. This would simulate the exe being moved away from this folder here you can see that it breaks. So we want to include those files in the executable. So that's what we're going to be doing next here. So let's just rename this back here. And go ahead and go into our express application here. And all you want to do is stop this here and run this command. Now this command specifies resources. So you can define multiple resources and you just do a new dash R and then the name. Now this name here is how to include all folders and files in that public folder. Because if you just type public, then it's just gonna include the public folder, but it's gonna be empty. But this just makes sure to take everything inside of the public folder and include that as well. And the next R parameter here is just a configuration file. We don't use it, but it's just to show that you can include that as well. And then we can go ahead and press enter. And you can see down here, it included two files. And by the way, if you're running this for the first time, this will stand here and download for a while. But once it's done, it will do it fast the next time. But you can go ahead and see that our server.ext file is now compiled again. And if we now go ahead and run this here, it's going to run like before. And if we now rename this here, to dash two and navigate to our server, we still have our application because the files are included in the executable. But let's go ahead and rename this back here. And stop the server. You can also include a dash dash name and that will provide a name. So if you don't want it to be server.exe but test.exe, then you can go ahead and do that as well. Now, if you want to go ahead and build to a different operating system, then you can go ahead and type the dash T command and then in quotes, remember everything has to be in quotes. Then you go ahead and write the operating system and then the architecture. Now, this is a little weird how this works and I'll include a link to all the different versions. The example is written in code and not in a nice list. So I will go ahead and try to make that list and include that on the GitHub under this video. But I'm not completely sure if it's the full list, but I will go ahead and include it anyways and try testing it and seeing if it works. I have only tested Windows and for that it works. But if we go ahead and run this, you can see that we get a file which is definitely not an exe. So I'm assuming that it works, but I'm not completely sure. You can go ahead and see here it's a file, but I don't know if it would run on Linux. And if you need any help, then go ahead and run nexi h and that will go ahead and run the help command. And you can go ahead and see different parameters that we can include to customize this process here. 
but I will include both the link to their documentation and the little list I've made of the different operating systems and architectures. So if you like this video, hit the thumbs up button and the subscribe button. If you want to see more of my videos, I have included two videos right here. And hopefully I see you in the next one.